Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Guys, yesterday EA dropped a stinker for content. There was a mistake with the objective that was dropped, and the objective isn't that amazing. The SBCs that were dropped yesterday just were not it, and there was something you might have missed, and it relates to packs. But it makes me ask the question, what in the world is EA doing right now? On this game I want to talk about that and of course what's to come today as we await one more day before these make your mark cards go away and the icons come in this team Two, all the leaks that we talked about yesterday are dropped on this game one more day guys we're almost there but if you're excited for today drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's talk about that SBC content especially that thing you may have missed we'll go players first to start things off I really don't like this player SBC guys I really don't the for the fact of the matter that he already has two upgrades applied to his card. This Montiel card was one of the top two or three players we were looking forward to from the leaks for SBCs this last week. He does have five-star skills, four-star weak foot. His stats don't look terrible, but you're thinking, oh, he's a live card, right? Once Argentina gets some clean sheets, oh, wait. They've already got two clean sheets in their first two Copa America games in which he played. So he's got the appearance chemistry boost already. And they kept the clean sheets, so the boosts are already applied to this card. Unless EA are going to apply them later on. Um, this is the same thing that happened with Danny Carvajal when his card was dropped this last week. He already had the two clean sheets boost because Spain had kept two, and he had played. So we had the chemistry boost as well. That means if you're doing this SPC for Montiel, he only has one more potential upgrade, and that is the making five appearances in the Copa America. When when you look at this card, is it really worth 220,000 coins for only a plus one potential? In my opinion, no. If this card had four playstyle pluses, maybe a little bit better stats, then yeah, it could be a card worth doing. But as it sits right now and as it looks, I think this is just more of an emotional SBC if you're trying to build out an Argentinian team or if you need the Argentinian and Prem links. It's just underwhelming, right? And that kind of encompasses all of content yesterday for the most part. But this is really underwhelming, especially for the fact that the upgrades are not there. And that's just kind of the hype of the whole promo that we are in right now so i hope that ea mess up and actually upgrade the card more or something like that kind of like vidic you know he already got the two clean sheets but if they give him an extra 95 rated boost or something like that like i'd be down um and then sbc's out for a few days so if they do that i guess we'll take advantage if something like that happens but i'm not expecting it now the other sbc we had yesterday was a flashback kim little she's five foot four with finesse press proven incisive pass plus almost club 90 besides defending five star weak foot high high work rates I mean, at 55 or whatever, 60,000 coins in this SBC, she is not very expensive. And I just have some sort of feeling her card might actually be pretty decent in game. I've been packing her 86 rated card from player picks and from 84 times 10s for a while. Haven't used her all year long, but I guess this is the definition of a fun SBC. If you want to try it, go ahead and do it. Play styles are decent. Price is cheap. 95 rated at the very least as well for a, for a good fodder later on. Um, and yeah, a flashback Arsenal Kim Little card there. So I won't be completing personally, but that was dropped yesterday as well, as was the guaranteed Make Your Mark Team 2 pack, which we saw updated in the code just like an hour before content. And guys, the weight on this, honestly, we were opening them on stream yesterday and I was genuinely excited to like, oh, maybe upload some of them to the second channel, right? Because we haven't had a decent upgrade pack in a minute. It wrong. The pack weight on these was really bad like not just bad like really bad i think we opened 20 of them probably on stream maybe 25 and we saw two danny Carvajals, halls and then everything else below that i think ter stegen was the next most expensive player that we packed and he's like what 60 or 70 000 coins so the weight was really bad um i got broha from this but again it's one of those sbcs for the price 50k you might as well give it a shot because maybe you get lucky and you pack broha or you pack doku or something or sorry not broha um doku or carvajal or one of those guys right so it's always worth the gamble worth the punt but man it was really not good yesterday and the weight was not it but at least it's a chance right i guess we'll keep telling ourselves that now let's talk about the objective that dropped yesterday right because wednesdays have been recently in the last couple of weeks foot champs bonus objective days and we have honestly this was if you think back if you were on it content this uh, objective was messed up as well it was delayed like 30 minutes because the level 
two reward here, Rui Patricio for playing six games and the overall reward of Gabriel. They were actually in concepts, but they were not in objectives. So a slight delay there, but uh, this is just kind of your normal copy paste as we've had in the past couple of weeks. Foot champs objectives. It is Portugal, right? That was the expectation. That was kind of like the leak, right? It is a Portugal team of players that you need a full squad. So starting 11 and bench. It's nice that you only have to play six games to get the Rui Patricio. That is actually nice. And the packs through the rest of this are really good. Like if you're going to go and try to get this done, whether it's for fun or whether it's because you want to get the packs, like they are very, very good. It's There's some incentive here to be getting this uh, objective done. I think the packs are the biggest uh, incentive because this Gabrielle card, I just don't think is that great if I'm being completely honest but the one thing that I do like about this is he's a path to glory and Brazil have not gotten any upgrades yet so unlike Montiel's card this path to glory Gabriel has got all of his upgrades for the taking this card could be uh you it even says here they're uh, eligible for upgrading from it's behind the camera but it says june 26th which is interesting because all the other ptgs say june 14th but it doesn't even matter because brazil have not won a game yet in copa america and of course they haven't won three games so there's still all of the upgrades potentially here for gabriel but i think a lot of us saw the 88 pace in this card yesterday when he was dropped and we're like ew not for me, kind of behind the curve. I look at my team with team of the season VVD and Vidic as center backs with like Joe Gomez, Mickey Vandeven as backups and a couple other players. I'm like, I'm good fam. I don't necessarily need another card, especially the one that I have to go and try to sweat out 12 wins of foot champs for with a Portuguese team that is very very subpar so i think the gabriel is a little underwhelming for some people um he might end up turning into a cracked card but i don't think i want to go through the pain and the sweat to figure out down the line if brazil do and go on go on to go to the final of copa america how good he could look so portuguese cards though they were invested in right we talked about this we knew the prices were going up they rose into content as everybody was expecting the big boom right all the cards were going to go up right because people were investing a portuguese objective is going to be dropped well that Gabriel card didn't hit the hype like Enzo did a couple of weeks ago. And guess what? All those cards went down. So yet again, second video in a row, we're really saying it. Sell into the hype, even with these type of investments as well. A lot of the Portuguese cards had that same kind of thing. Like Cancelo was 300k, went up to 326 right before the objective drop, went down and was panic sold afterwards because there was not enough demand to meet the supply, especially as investors started listing and undercutting. There was not enough demand to meet that supply for a lot of the Portuguese cards. Now, still, a lot of them are inflated. So if you want to trade with them, there's going to be opportunity there. But I don't think it's going to continue to go up in price because there's just not a lot of hype for those. Now, the other thing that's really crazy is people are kind of getting ahead, ahead of things and getting a hint of what the next week's objective might be. And since we have kind of like the objective reward player is the next nation of who's going to be required next week. So next Wednesday, everybody is already speculating that it's going to be Brazil that Brazilian players are going to be required for the objective. And guess what? Brazilian players are going up on the market. From 170k, this Fred card's now 230. Do I have to say it again? Sell in the hype, all right? Get it out. It's a week away. Things could change. We might not even get an objective next week. Who knows, right? I think there's a lot of assumptions there. The cards are up so much just based off of purely hype, purely guessing, and purely people wanting to make some coins. So, if you have some Brazilian cards like that, get them out, take the cash, sell the cards, and then you don't have to worry about it. You just made basically some free coins off of people wanting to invest for what could potentially be happening, but it's still a week away. And if you really need Brazilian cards, maybe scope out your Brazil squad a week ahead of time and then, you know, watch it then drop when the actual objective is released, just like it happened today with the Portuguese cards next week. So that's some hints I wanted to give you guys there. Um, so yeah, I guess as well, yesterday, the last thing we have to talk about, there's two more things really, but the last thing I want to talk about from yesterday's content was something that you probably didn't notice. And I didn't either about an, until an hour after content, when I went into the store and I saw that EA was running lightning rounds and i actually took a screenshot of it because i knew they were going to be expiring there were three lightning rounds that were dropped yesterday on a random wednesday the 88 times 8 untradeable the 87 times 10 tradable and an 81 times 100 pack why in the world is ea running lightning rounds on a wednesday 
during this promo where there's really no hype because these cards are like virtually unpackable as we've all known this whole entire week and here's the saddest part people were opening them in and there's a multiple reasons why you can tell that people were opening well first of all you could see that the counter or community limit the number here was going down on these cards the tradable ones the 8710 I think the 81 times 100 might be tradable as well, but the 88 times 8 was untradable. But if you take a look at prices of the cards that were in packs, like somebody was packing Ter Stegen yesterday. Not many, but some people were. He went from 65K down to 56. And the real part of the market that you can obviously see was impacted by that pack supply yesterday was fodder. Look at 88s. They were 10,500 coins, 10K into content, and they got destroyed, dropping from 10k to 8,000 coins after the content drop that is purely because of that store pack and of that supply man can we please tell the community to please not open i mean sure some people are probably opening those packs with coins but like we can't be opening all these store packs in the weeks that the promos are not very good you're not going to make coins off of that it's just i see that and i'm sad i'm very sad when i see stuff like that because i'm like it's not worth it especially this week like i opened the 650k pack and i'm regretting that decision even though we have a lot of coins we've been making even more coins because the cards have been fluctuating like crazy on the market with the euros and the copa america but no like no especially those packs right there man so i don't know what ea is doing though what like what is ea thinking to run lightning rounds i guess they wanted to just make some quick cash right and i guess people opened those packs yesterday so ea proved themselves right but i do want to mention one last thing about fodder guys is Keep an eye on these prices because I think with what is coming this weekend with all the icons, the SBCs, the icon player pick may be refreshing on Saturday right before it goes away on Sunday. I think this fodder might actually be a decent place to invest. There could be some prices that go up. It's low now because of that supply yesterday, right? 87s and 88s are the lowest. 89s drop down as well. They're 19K, but it could go a little bit lower on Friday in the first couple of hours. But I just kind of want to put that in your mind because fodder might actually be a decent investment heading into this weekend. So just kind of think about that. Now let's talk about the upgrades, right? The daily upgrades. Talk about the euros for a second. What a last day and last couple of matches of qualifying with the upgrades, especially for Kavicha, Kavaradona, whatever you want to call them. These are the upgrades that just went live a couple hours ago. Teate with the clean sheet for Belgium or the draw, basically clean sheet and draw. He goes up plus one. Kavicha goes up plus one for Georgia's crazy win against Portugal and his insane performance. He deserves a man of the match for that as well. And then Haji for the Romania Golazo, he gets himself a new playstyle plus, which they gave him technical plus. Guys, this Haji card looks crazy. Five star, five star with technical, finesse, incisive, and dead ball. I mean, technical might have been the best playstyle plus they could have given this card. I don't know if he's going to drop much down in price. He was down a little bit because he was like 2.2 million yesterday. He's like 2.1 now, but he's not even down that much. Like this card looks nutty. And with that playstyle plus added to him, that's crazy. Now with the Kavicha card, I want to shout this out because EA might have given the best plus one upgrade of the entire promo. A 95 to a 96. He got plus two passing and plus one dribbling. This is the craziest plus one the dribbling I've ever seen. He's going from 98 to 99. He goes plus two agility, plus three balance, two reactions, and three composure. Some people are calling this 99 dribbling stat for him though, a fake 99. I think EA was trying to make it as close to 99 as possible um, with those plus twos and plus threes inside of here. That is insane boost there. And then of course, plus two everywhere in the passing category, which is very nice. This card looks un freaking believable right and uh, of course if you did the showdown for onana right belgium drew so the plus one for onana as well just have to shout that one out and then the late games from copa america just ended mexico lose one nil but ecuador win so hinkapi is going to get his first upgrade he's going to go to a 95 rated card those are the biggest um that, that is the biggest card getting an upgrade today so just kind of keeping an eye out for that he's going to look insane 95 rated hinkapi 95 pace, 96 defending, and 95 physical. Like, what is that card? He's going to get a plus one boost today as well. So be watching out for that. 
And lastly, uh, we had to like, take a look at the bracket, right? For the Euros games, what is upcoming and what is coming forward for these live cards? This is something to really keep an eye on, guys. These games start on Saturday, and I've actually made a couple of investments in a couple of buys myself just because some of the Path to Glories that have been dropping a lot in the past couple of days, we've been seeing their prices down, down, down. I think we were hitting some of the low points for a few of the cards. Some of them have even started to go up already. Like yesterday, I bought Pedri for 1.45, and I sold them for 1.65 just a little bit ago. Like some of these prices are starting to move up, especially as people see who's being matched up against who for the round of 16. Spain against Georgia. You'd think that's an easy game for Spain, right? None of these games are easy because all of these teams are tested and true through the group stages. But you would think that some of those quote unquote easier matchups just kind of put that in the back of your mind is like, oh, you know, Spain, they've got a quote unquote easier matchup or Austria plays Turkey. I picked up two Sabitzers. Um, luckily for 500K, I got a snipe 502 or 509 and then 520. This card is just continuing to go up because A, he's ultra rare and B, he could get one more win. If they play Turkey and they win, this guy's going four play style pluses and he's going to be insane. That is the one thing I do want to shout for you guys. The PTGs were down bad still yesterday. Saliba, I bought for 1.7, sold them for right around 1.9. They're still having fluctuations. And I'm not saying this is a safe investment because you still have the icons coming this weekend. Team two, right? All those crazy cards that we looked at yesterday and talked about in yesterday's video. But I would say, I think some of the PTG cards that have good matchups heading into the round of 16 games for the Euros could rise up further into those games. But I think there will be multiple windows to buy, potentially another one tomorrow on Friday when the new cards come out. But just kind of, again, look over this bracket, see who you think might make a move and have a chance to go far and maybe make some investments accordingly, especially if they're close to an upgrade. Now today, since the Euro group games are over, all we have is Copa America, sad days. I mean, hey, Copa America games are gonna be fun. It is uh, actually two big games tonight late night games it is going to be usa versus panama so you've got upgrades on the line for tyler adams um beasley musa McKenney, baligan and way a lot of usa cards personally that i'm excited for and then of course uruguay i know a lot of people are excited for darwin nunez all he has to do is score or assist one time tonight that's all he's got to do and we're getting a 97 rated nunez tomorrow and he's got a peer as well so working towards that plus one overall for the appearances and if he scores or assists, we get a 97 nunez this card is very good i really hope that he gets upgrades and if you haven't done that spc it might be one worth doing before we have more spcs coming with the new promo tomorrow so that's kind of everything going on in this game right now yesterday market wise like i said there was less panic yesterday um i did pick up two depauls for 1.37 or 1.36 and i sold them right under 1.7 mil but he ended up going back up to 1.9 these cards are the best to trade with in the game i'll say it again ptgs are the best make your marks are okay ptgs are way better now today on thursday let's wrap this thing up what are we getting today guys right thursday cup days and hopefully today xp and we're getting towards the end of the season only two weeks left for this season this could be where they start to intertwine a little bit of extra xp i think a lot of us would like that because we're seeing people now yesterday i saw some legit you know how there was the whole level 35 pushkas like fake stuff going on earlier people claiming pushkas already that was big cap right well i think some people are actually going to be able to get pushkas and cruz and depai and a lot of people are going to be in the hot little like above 30 level 30 is what i'm trying to say today based off the xp they might give double xp as well and really kind of juice it up since we're getting towards the end here which would be very nice and i do have to finish this one off here to get some 350 xp and some squad battles and i haven't even played the spanish cup which i really should have done but if the new cup today has like extra xp or something like that we're gonna go for that still working on copa america throwbacks season seven play i still gotta work on as well there's a little bit more time for that but there should be more xp given out today which is very very nice and yeah i don't know what nation the cup's gonna be we've gotten a cup every single week it was spain last week i mean the only rhyme or reason and like pattern with these has been it's been a euro nation so I don't know who it could be. We've already had England. We have Spain. We had Germany at the very beginning. Could we have Netherlands? Maybe, you know, but, you know, cards are going to move a little bit when this comes out. If there's a leak beforehand, you might be able to invest or just wait and see today at content. Go pick up some of those 92, 93, 94 rated cards from whatever nation 
is required there and you'll see some prices move up uh but yeah xp is really big today from objectives for sure and then we do have one last player sbc that we're looking out for from the big leaked page uh, of all the names we've got every single card from this list now except for Damari Gray. So I think we're getting a Jamaican Damari Gray today, which it's not looking too good for them in Copa America as well. I think, did they lose tonight or did they win tonight? Hold on. I might check that really quick. Um, they lost to Ecuador three to one. Mexico also lost. So I have to imagine that Luis Hernandez, especially because Mexico didn't score. I have to imagine that Luis Hernandez great to the game is going down right now. He is too old. Oh. Oh, yeah. He is 230,000 coins. I believe he was 290 at one point. Let's double check the graph to see. He was 280 before the game, and he's now 237K and probably dropping even lower. But that makes sense because, you know, no upgrades are coming in. They'll, they didn't even score a goal, and that's not good for a card like this, who I also packed, by the way. So we don't love that, but we move. Yeah, guys, I think that's the content for today. It's probably going to be a bit of a slow one. Um, Man, I hope, I don't know, I don't think they're going to drop like a, a daily login. That was during team of the season where they would overlap a day. So yeah, make sure if you haven't done, I got to do the 85, 7, 84 times 10s. I got to complete those again and figure that out, get those in the club. And maybe today is just a really good day to it as well. Finish up some objective gameplay, get some stuff done in there so that you can get that XP and some of those extra packs. I got to go win one game of division rivals to get my division one rewards and uh, the reward upgrade and save those packs for what will be coming this Friday. So again, if you missed yesterday's video talking through all the leaks, there's no new leaks because basically everything is leaked. Check out the video that we dropped yesterday. But if that's all for you today, that's all for me. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That, com or that uh, link is down below in the description. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you like the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. And if you're new, drop a subscription for the daily videos on everything FC24. But I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate for the Count, and have a great Thursday. Peace out.